On this episode of the sequence, I'm gonna show you how to use the grip view, AKA the piano roll, like a Fruity Loops producer. Ooh. The sequence. <laughs> what is good, peoples? I know I'm gonna catch a lot of hate in the comment section. Calm down. I was an FL Studio gang head at first before I started doing stuff on the MPC one. And I think that I really want a lot of people that are FL Studio users to do is to experience the standalone process of the MPC one, because the MPC is where I came from originally, originally, and there's no experience better than on this one since this has a piano roll in there, AKA the grid view. And I wanna show you guys how to use that in this video. So therefore you can see the magic behind the MPC one. Yes, guys, I know it's hard to convince FL gang to get away from FL studio hell. But other than that though, I want to share my personal experience with when you're more intimate with your music, uh, that you get a creative process that is on, on a higher level. And I'm not saying that as if you're more privileged to respect because you use an MPC. All right, so elephant in the room, let me address that. Uh, this is not about how to use the MPC one inside of FL Studios piano roll. It's about how to use the MPC one's piano roll like how you would in FL Studio. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pick out a sound. I'm gonna go over here to my plugin and I'm gonna go and select the electric plugin, which will give me some piano, road pianos. And now, one of the things that if you are an FL Studio user and you're looking at the MPC one, here's a cool feature that is in FL Studio, if people taught you correctly, uh, shifting notes. Uh, shifting notes is gonna bring up your scales, your chord progressions and all that. Of course, I have extra scales and stuff like that. I'm gonna cover that in another video as well. So, so that I have that, I'm not, I, none of this is playing by the way. Uh, now that I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and just go back into my main because I almost forgot to set my BPM here. And, okay, cool. So we're gonna record that in here. So let's go back into here, shift and notes to access your scales and your progression and fix stuff. Uh, and we're gonna lay this out. That's cool. So I'm gonna work with that. That's cool. I actually want that mistake to be here. So press main. And now how do you get to the piano roll? Cause I wanna fix some stuff, right? Uh, so you can fix that. Now we're in the piano roll here, which is called grid view in the MPC series. And it's on one of the newer features of the newer ones. So you have the magnifying glasses, which is gonna allow you to look for all of your scales and stuff like that, move it in and move it in and out and then uh, be able to stretch it like this. So if you see people do this, this is how you would access that. And I'm actually happy that I have these accidents right here because, and um, now see, I have one accident already inside of here. Uh, what I want to do here is use a selector tool. Now we're gonna select all of this right here. Now what I want to do, and go back to the mag magnifying glass so you can scroll up and down. What I want to do is this right here. I want the notes to go forward. Like I want it to stretch to these notes right over here. So let me go ahead and show you this. Boom. I want them to reach to about the end of that. So I have it highlighted. What you can do is go into edit end. Edit end will stretch out the notes from the end. And now let's hear it. I, I kinda wanna finish this beat, but more importantly, I wanna show you guys some stuff. So I'm using my data not to stretch it out, uh, to make it as long or short just by those notes that I've highlighted. So moving forward from here, uh, what if I want to do 
make these the other notes like go forward well you go edit start right so i'm going to go over here edit start and i'm going to make it go to about one three uh one third of a beat or whatever and you know maybe i want to stretch those notes out again let's go and stretch those notes out again I'm gonna show you some more stuff too as well. You can, I'm gonna shrink it down. Oops, I, I almost went ahead of myself. So I wanna go edit in. See, I messed up. I'm gonna leave that in there. But yeah, I'm gonna edit in. Now it's here. Now, here's something. I know a lot of you guys wanna be like, well, maybe I don't want to snap to grid. Okay, well, I can go into here. And then once I select all those notes that I don't want to snap perfectly, I'm probably just gonna uh, do the magnifying glass and then we're gonna get as close as possible and then we're gonna select don't snap. So from don't snap, I could just go and slowly nudge it over. Let me get back over here. Ooh, I'm a little too far in there. Don't snap. And now we're gonna do a nudge. And you can see it move in small increments here. Let me go and get closer. And you can select one note and perhaps maybe you want to move one note more than the other. So you can get more of a natural feel. Now you got more of a natural feel now. Ooh, God damn it. I, I do want to finish this beat. I apologize here. Now, so per se, you want to erase something. Well, you got a eraser tool right here and now you can erase stuff. Just make sure that you go in there. I'm trying to be as slow as possible, but you know, when you start working with something, you, you build your speed up and maybe I want to delete one of those notes at the very beginning here. Let's go and uh, make that piano roll smaller. Maybe I want to get rid of those notes right here, these little did notes. Well, let's go ahead and get those. Go and grab delete here, boom. Just delete it. Just swipe, uh, swipe left. You tender guys out there, y'all should be swiping. Uh, but anyways, get rid of it. Uh, and if you accidentally get rid of something you don't want to get rid of, you hit that undo button and it'll bring it back. Just continue to hit undo until it's back on there yeah right there boom now there are a few things that i could show you uh as far as shortcuts and stuff like that but i already have videos for that like per se if you want uh like this to have a certain kind of swing to it or whatever like your midi notes you can do that as well you can do that on the main honestly uh you can do that and then apply it but i don't want to go ahead and go i've done a video on that i had that at the top right of the screen uh, there's other things too, like let's go back into the piano roll. So shift main, boom, piano roll. Now I want to show you uh, transpose. Transpose is pretty cool. Now I have one of the notes highlighted, but if I wanted to go here, I just go ahead and go and get the selection tool again. Boom. Now with transpose highlighted, you can move the notes up. And therefore, you kind of get that workflow uh, of like FL Studio, except a little easier because you have built-in scales and stuff like that. Now, if you want to draw in your notes, you can you can do that too as well. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the selection tool. You want to delete everything in here. If you want to delete anything in here, you just press Shift and Cut. Uh, that that's one of many different ways. I highly recommend if if you're not editing in the notes or editing so much of these notes in the piano roll that you just press record and play start and record that line again. But nonetheless though, you still have that. Uh, you can edit your velocity too as well, uh, but you will have to go into velocity right over here and then edit them this way uh, via the pencil. 
on the velocity pencil and there you go you have that you do have control over other parameters here you had to go over here select velocity and add new and then you have different things that you can do right here for midi cc pitch bin after touch go into the mixer here you can choose pan volume mute solo so if you want to do any of that stuff it's right there in your piano roll here so it's just basically uh, a lot of tools that you have now addressing the guys that like to draw on your notes maybe you want to draw on your notes now i ain't gonna lie to you uh <laughs> it ain't the easiest it ain't pretty it ain't pretty but it can be done you can grab the pencil tool over here which I, i'm doing this a little too fast and draw it in uh, but you're gonna have to draw on one note at a time of course You can tell when I don't use a feature, right? So you have that and you can draw it in, but naturally you're going to have to stretch stuff out this way, which is going into edit end and then slide it over. Uh, you can turn don't snap off at any given time. And then that will make it a little easier on, in terms of your increments. I just left it on on accident. Uh, other features, of course, because this is about the piano roll, basically, uh, and, and people getting to know it. Other features, of course, you have your shift features right here. If you do shift in the grid in the grid view, uh, even though I've been calling it piano roll, uh, you get your cut, copy, paste, uh, mute, solo, and time, where you can change the time signatures. So, uh, what you can do here, and I want to go ahead and show you. If I go out of the piano roll and into the main here, and I was to add, I don't know, two more extra bars, four bars. Well, guess what? The grid is going to be the same no matter what. I'm going to have to copy and paste all that stuff over. And this is how you would do that. So you would copy and paste by going over here to the selection tool, selecting all this stuff over here, and then going over here, hitting this. And you would press shift, copy, and then paste. And there you go. So very easy. Uh, it is worth mentioning that you can navigate to the grid menu from over here. This is home and grid by touching on the screen. If you really want to get that touch feel to it. Uh, it is also worth mentioning too, uh, that if you go to the home window or the main screen, uh, that you can actually transpose stuff over here. So make sure that you, uh, learn how to transpose over here too as well and they're going to do that now i wanted to do this video because there is a lot of things that i want to cover and i know a lot of people still watch my fl studio tutorials so therefore i just wanted to you know hey check out something else you know it's pretty cool and I really do like my MPC one. Obviously I wouldn't even do these tutorials if I didn't enjoy it. But nonetheless, you know, when you experience something hands on as much as the MPC or a series altogether, yeah, it's a really good feeling. And even if you have to use the piano roll, yeah, it, it can be a really good experience. It's not as, as bad as people make it up to be. Otherwise, let me know how you feel. What should the next video be about?